Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, video didn't kill the radio star, not on the iPad anyway, and Amazon wants you to window shop, but will you buy? Plus, mute buttons are taking over and textbook tips from you. All that plus you've got bad eyesight or is that me? <laughs> on iPad today. <laughs> iPad Today is brought to you by Gazelle, the easy way to sell or recycle the used gadgets lying around your home or office. Don't just sell it, gazelle it. For a 5% bonus payment for your used gadgets, go to gazelle.com, bonus code iPad. And by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial, plus two free months with purchase, go to carbonite.com, offer code iPad Today iPad Today, episode 17, has now begun. Hello, Sarah Lane. We're driving, but we can't vote next week. What? We're only 17. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confused. Actually, uh, I have my absentee ballot. I'm planning on voting. Yes, I am too. Yeah, and I hope everybody will vote on November 2nd. Yeah. Uh, Me too. Yeah. Why very wouldn't important. you? Well, I, you know, it's funny. Routine. These these midterm elections, a lot of times people don't vote. They, they, the That's turnout's true. not... People people like the big coverage of the presidential elections, and then they kind of lose interest in between. But Very true. In fact, a lot of my friends who were very, very active, active in 2008, I said, you voting? And they're like, yeah, what is... Who's... What are we uh, voting for? You know... Yeah, what? Huh? You know, we're voting? Big what deal. is that all about? The big, big one. But, you know, your iPad is... Uh, can you bring an iPad into the voting booth? I bet you can. Uh, Why I, wouldn't I, you? Well, I mean, what do you well I'm just thinking the iPad is a per is up. perfect for that because you can do all your research on the iPad. Mm -hmm. You can you, maybe we could find a way to do a sample ballot. Maybe next week we talk about that. Maybe a sample ballot on here, and you take this in here, and then you know because I always have to bring remember, especially in California because we have 18 referendums. That's and true. It's always hard to remember what to. That's vote. not a bad idea. Yeah. In fact, I'm surprised that iTunes hasn't featured anything like that. Maybe because there isn't anything good yet. Maybe not. Because it's a very timely, it would be a timely app, that's for sure. So Just today, we're going to do something, we're going to go back in time. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Our apps, turn your $500 iPad into a transistor radio. That's right. Uh, because really, what would we be without radio? Not I, here. I wouldn't exist without radio. No. I'd be dead. You would just you would just be a, a ball of fluff. <laughs> I'd probably be a, a piece preacher. Of lint. I'd be I'd be running Someone's the crystal cathedral button. into the ground. Because <laughs> uh, without radio, I wouldn't have anywhere to preach. It that's was right. it's 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 how I started in college, and it's how I got into this whole business. So today our theme is dun 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 radio apps. Radio apps. So uh, isn't that silly that you would that you think this is such a high tech device? I think in in theory, people go radio apps. I don't know. Is it radio? You know, you think of terrestrial radio and, and all the other options the, that we have now, and it doesn't sound very sexy and cool. Well, I think there's a lot of great stuff. And the thing is, now, until 4.2 comes out for the iPad, they're not as cool. You know, the fact that you can listen to radio apps on the iPhone and then do something else is really great. Right. You can't yet do that on the iPad, but any day now. Yeah. So a couple of radio apps that, and we've actually talked about them in kind of different contexts, um, just to just to go over. First one is Pandora. Pandora is one of my and Leo's absolute favorite apps. And this is, um, where is my stupid Pandora? God, I have so many apps now, I have to actually use the search function. <laughs> How about that? Uh, there it is. Uh, is. Is something, I mean, I've been using Pandora almost almost exclusively when I just need to do research on, I love Pandora. on just in my browser. Pandora lets you enter artists that you like yeah, um, and make a station based on that. And then Pandora, which was, we've interviewed Tim Westergren many times on Net at Night. Um, he thought of Pandora after creating the Music, music Genome, Genome Project. Project. Yeah. So yeah, so if I, for example, if I were to create a, I like this group called Crystal Castles, they're kind of electronica. Who doesn't? And I, I know, well, you probably don't. Uh, Crystal Castles, so I create a Crystal Castles radio station, and I'm almost guaranteed that the first song I'll hear will be a Crystal it Castles is. song. It is, see, yeah. But then, from that point on, it'll give me uh, similar types of artists based on kind of their algorithmic information. That's the genome project there, because what exactly. they did is they got professional musicians 
to come in and and categorize a whole bunch of music in terms of a bunch of different parameters and said that's the genome. It's a singer songwriter. Uh, acoustic male vocals, maybe those would be three of the attributes. And yeah. so, if you like Even crystal certain kinds of tempos, tempos, that gets that gets added in there. Yeah. So if you like, you know, so I, I listen to my first Crystal Castle song and I go, okay, this is awesome. The next song maybe is by a different artist. And let's say I, you know, I like the artist. I can give it a thumbs up, and that way uh, Pandora goes, "Okay, you like this next one. Right. Now we know even more about you." Right. We or know, thumbs down, and it says, "I won't down, play that again for a few months." And you'll months. never hear it again. Yeah. Or you can just uh, fast forward. Now it's uh, worth noting that the Pandora app on the iPad uh, and the iPhone and the, the the web service, it's all free. You can upgrade to an ad-free Pandora. I haven't. Um, the ads don't bother me. I actually hear a lot of Meg Whitman ads in my Pandora yeah, she's station. Spent, she's got a ton of money. That's why. She's running for governor of California. She's a former uh, CEO of, of eBay. And right. she spent, I think, almost $200 million now yeah, she's, on her campaign yeah. of her money. The first Meg Whitman ad I heard in my Pandora station, I was like, well, this is odd. But then I thought, well, now she actually probably knows a little bit about uh, internet marketing. But well, This um, is, by the way, why I bought Pandora Pro because right. I don't want any ads. And there's another reason you get a higher quality stream. Interesting. And now, I listen is it to Pandora that everywhere. you notice? Because I've, I mean, I've, no. I've never really had an issue with what it sounds like. But I don't like just play it back screen. on my iPad. I play it back on my Sonos players. It's mm. my music. It's my alarm clock. So I listen to Pandora at least once or twice a day. So right. to me, it's worth whatever it was, the 25 bucks for the uh, pro a year is nothing. Yeah, it's, it's, not, um, it's not anything horrible. I mean, it won't gouge you. But anyway, so you can go free, free or you free can app. go pro. Yep. But the version that I use that I like, as long as you can deal with it out every once in a while, is free. It's a lot of fun. You discover new artists. I really, I mean, I actually discovered Crystal Castles through Pandora because they came up in someone else's station. I think it was my Justice station. I went, I really like them. Now they're one of my favorite bands. Um, another app that we have talked about in the past. Also free. Also free is the NPR app. Now, I'm not going to go into NPR's content and how you may or may not feel about NPR, but uh, it's a really good Zoom listening, yes. It's a really good example of a radio app done well because not only is it the shows that NPR is known for, but it's articles that go along with the shows. NPR employs a lot of really smart producers and writers as well. So you can read a little bit more about, I don't know, this cholera vaccine that's in one of the news programs, for example. So NPR does a really nice um, job of kind of making it a multimedia experience while also being a streaming radio station. So you can read as well as listen. I also yeah. like the fact that you can build it. NPR has shows like All Things Considered in the afternoon, morning edition in the morning. And normally you'd listen to the sequence of stories on the radio. Right. But you can build your own All Things Considered or your own morning edition or your own show by taking segments from all the shows, stitching them together, making a playlist, and then listen in your car or at home. Exactly. So I mean, it's a if, nice if I, I love fresh air, but I don't necessarily want to listen to fresh air at 7 p.m. Right. So I listen whenever, whenever you want. I want. Yeah. Wait, wait, don't tell me is also like the oh, best what a show, great show ever. Yeah. If you like kind of fun, trivia, ridiculous shows, now, that's a show for you. One show that's not on there is This American Life because it's not NPR. It's on public radio, but it's, it's uh, um, Chicago. It's APR or something. Yeah. So, but you can listen to that on the Internet as well. But it's, yeah. but just not through this app. This app is NPR stuff. only. It's NPR stuff only. Um, another thing to note, if you have tried the NPR app in the past, it's one of the first ones. It w it's been out since April. They recently updated it to fix a lot of bug crashes that people were complaining about. Certain shows, it would just crash the whole thing. Very annoying. So if you're one of those people who are like, you know, I, NPR app seems great, but it doesn't really work for me. Give it another try. It's free. It's been updated recently. So I thought it was worth a mention. So you did the freebies, but I'm going to yeah. do the paid apps. Now, I'm there's a cheapskate. A, well, there's 27,000 or something internet radio stations, probably many, 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 many more than that, hundreds of thousands. Because sure. every station in the world are nowadays, ra terrestrial radio stations. You got stations. 12 radio stations right here. Yeah, streams on the internet. Yeah. And, we, and then there are people like us. We stream. So there are a lot of internet radio uh, uh, applications. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they're not cheap. I asked the chat room. I originally was going to show you something called uh, Internet Tuner Radio mm -hmm. or Tuner Internet Radio, Tuner Internet which has Radio. been around a long time, about $5. Yeah. And everybody in the chat room said, no, 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 there's a better choice now. It's called Pocket Tunes. And after I launched it, I said, you know what? This is better. Now, it's not cheap. It's six ninety nine, $7. Um, and it is a uh, it is a, a universal. You see, it says your phone, your music. Well, it's also your iPad, your music. It uses the full iPad screen. Well, for and seven dollars, I hope it's great. Well, it has some features that I haven't seen before. For instance, you know, you can listen to a broad variety of internet shows. Whoops! And if it doesn't crash on you, a broad variety of internet shows. But 
You can also record if you're hearing something you like and play it back later. It allows you to search for podcasts. And when it doesn't, you know what? I think it's crashing on me. I'm going to have to reboot. Pocket tunes. Here's a little tip. You nut. Here's a little tip for yeah. those of you with an what iPad. Happen, what happens when things crash live on When things on crash the uh, on, on, your, uh, on your iPad, I found if you turn the iPad off, so you press and hold the start key, uh -huh. the top button over here, and you just turn it off, and then you turn it back on again. It seems like it cleans out uh, the memory or something like that, and it and it and it and programs that have crashed for me in the past will then launch. Not unlike what you might do it's a reboot. on a computer. It's a reset. Yeah, or a browser. Um, Speaking of browsers, my Chrome browser has been really weird lately. <laughs> this is completely unrelated to it anything. Is, yeah, but, but since we're talking about crashing, and and notice how fast. Get your act together, Chrome. This boots pretty fast, so oh, yeah, it's, it's not nice. like it's uh, you know it's a big. Actually, I I turned it off again by accident, <laughs> so it's now. It's now booting again. So we, you discovered uh, Pocket Tunes Pocket Radio, Tunes Radio and then about half an hour before the show. And I like it. It has a lot of nice features. You can search for podcasts. You can record music. You can play a variety of other music. I'll tell you uh, one more. We mentioned Tuner Internet Radio, which has been around a long time. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, there's another free one that I have to plug. It's an iPhone app, but it plays just fine on uh, on the iPad, even though, you know, you zoom it open. And it's called iHeartRadio. And the reason I have to mention it is because it's a clear channel product and I'm on it. It's a good, I mean, it's a good way to listen. I imagine the other radio streaming programs also uh, have uh, my, my shows on it. But iHeartRadio is designed by the people who syndicate my show. And it has some nice features and it is free, by the way. However, you'll find because it's clear channel, it is a little bit more limited. You, you can find all the local stations in your area. And this is an example. This is San Francisco. 103.7, the band, is one of my favorites. Uh -huh. And then notice, they've started to kind of do the Pandora Last FM thing. They've got their own well, internet-only shows, like Eagles Radio, <laughs> you know, Dream Radio, Country Road. So they've mixed, they've mixed it up. Uh, you can have favorites. And I like this feature. It's called Shake It. So because there are so many stations on this, Watch. You get overwhelmed. You get overwhelmed. I'll press the shake it button, and now it's going to randomly pick a station in a format. Well, that's fun. Rock. This is 106.7 KBPI in Denver, Colorado, and now suddenly I'm playing a rock station from Denver, Colorado. What is it? It's rocking. Now look at this. This is a nice feature. When you see what it's playing, it's going to take a little while for me to get the information. It will tell you what the song is. This is something radio doesn't do that I really like. You could and that feeds. 1067 KBPI, Dan here. Second to last day of Hand that Feeds at X Saloon, Hamden and Kipling in Lakewood. And <laughs> I love local. You know, it's fun too. to listen to local radio I and what the, what's going on in local we radio. We got a party in Lakewood, everybody, on Saturday <laughs> at 5. Hope you'll be there. Tickets available. I think that's a lot of fun. Let me let me do another shake here because I want to get a, song, a station that's playing music because it, it'll pull up the lyrics too, which I think is kind of fun. So if I can find a station. This is Harris. We're now gone, gone to News Talk. Well, that's not going to work. In, uh, in Harrisonburg. Let's do another one. This is kind of fun. Tucson, Arizona. Classic hits. Let's play Cool 1450. It's like th closing my eyes and throwing something at the radio and just seeing what And now we're hearing the drifters. Up. There goes my baby. Let's see if the lyrics, if we can pull up the lyrics for that. Cool 1450, now, see there. Now, the, now we're hearing ads. Good times. It's fun, though, isn't it? He's still, there's still somebody in a, in a talking like that, doing the radio show. I guess this guy learned from the oldies, but goodies, that you could talk like this, you could have a job in radio someday. Coming up next, the drifters. <laughs> good times. Great oldies. Babies. A cool 1450 AM. That's You're AM very radio. good. Yeah, that's AM radio. You're a good you know, cheese it's ball funny. oldies. <laughs> cheese ball. When I uh, started in AM radio, they said, you sound too FM, because right now, the way I'm talking now, that sounds FM. They say, oh, no, you got to learn to talk like this. Otherwise, I, we're not going to let you work I don't in radio. know that I w would like the AM Leo. I prefer FM Oh, you'd Leo. love the AM Leo, because the AM Leo is full of energy, full of excitement. Everything's exciting on AM radio. Yeah, I'm excited. Right now, we're listening to the Drifters. There goes my baby. No, wait a minute. That's not what we're listening to. <laughs> Oh, that is what we're listening to. Let's just see if we can get the lyrics of There Goes My Baby. If I, you know, see, it's, I guess I can't always do it. Anyway. Maybe they don't have lyrics. They're just making it up as they went along. <laughs> this, this the lyrics are lyrics simple. There goes my baby. There goes my baby. There goes my baby. Let's see if I can launch this now. Pocket tunes. Anyway, Pocket there's tunes, a few great, radio. great things for you. I think Pandora is a must-have. It's free. Everybody should have that. Uh, there's a similar program, Last FM, also great. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, I've kind of forgotten about Last FM oh, lately. Yeah. It's funny. We, we go through radio apps and it never even came up. I feel a little bit silly about that. Well, let's just mention because it. Because I like Pandora so much. Yeah, Last FM also. Um, but you know, if you're great... listening to, let's say, the World Series and you are in San Francisco, but you would like to hear the Dallas station. This is Who where would do something like that to themselves. Nutball would do that. Yeah. You could buy MLB. And by the way, I, I have to correct myself because I gave a price for uh, Major League Baseball's uh, it was five dollars. They've they've cranked it up. Well, it was it was five dollars because it was the end of the season. It'll they've, be back to its twenty bucks at the beginning of next season. But right. you can get the postseason for five bucks. Yeah. And um and 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 you can also buy video for cheap. I think it's five bucks. So, um, you could listen to both stations on MLBs at bat twenty ten. But you can also use these uh, applications to find those stations. And it uh, would listen. be. I mean, when they go and play at. Uh, over in Rangers territory, I would like to hear my San Francisco announcers well, tell you me will. about the game. I'll tell you what. I, so they're, you know, okay. Goes both ways. I got an assignment for somebody because I think the Fox announcers I homework time are so terrible. I can't stand listening to the TV. They announcers. get things wrong. They're just morons. They they yeah, they'll say uh, the inning's over. It's like no, it isn't. Yeah. The Tim, inning is not over. I'm not going to name names, but Tim McCarver just terrible. Anyway. I happen to like Crook and Kipe, our local play-by-play -play guys from KNBR, where I used to work for many years. And so what I'd like to do is put on, and I did this, I put on my iPad, I put Crook and Kipe. Mm -hmm. The problem is TV is delayed. So Crook and Kipe say, it's a home run, and you're seeing pitch, you know, ball three. And it's and, and How delayed are we talking, though? I thought it was only like... about five seconds. Well, yeah. Six seconds. So... If somebody could show me a way to delay radio. <laughs> that would be nice. Because I can't speed up the TV, I don't believe. But if I could delay the radio, that would be great. You know what my mom does? What? Just a, She's a huge baseball fan, bigger than probably all of us combined. And she can't stand the any television announcers at all. Yeah. She's a radio person. She stands in her kitchen looking out the window, listening to the radio. And when something happens, she runs into the living room <laughs> and watches it on TV. You know, radio And she baseball, doesn't watch it otherwise well, she's smart. until there's something to watch. Because she likes to let her imagination run wild. It's very weird. You know, you might want to listen to the Miami radio station when LeBron James is playing, you know. I mean, it's fun to hear the local stations, I think, sometimes for these big national yeah. things. So, well, you like the announcers that are excited, and, right. you know, it just kind of helps the whole I don't know what the Dallas station uh, is for uh, Rangers baseball. <sighs> Loser 109. <laughs> Sorry. One more can, app. I'm, I'm a bad. One I mean, more app. World Series. Come can, on. Can I mention one more app? Because yeah. it's sitting right in the middle here. Yes. And it's the great uh, uh, shift key software. Craig, Craig uh, Mullaney wrote this. And that uh, deserves a lot of credit. It's our own this Twit app. Twit. You can listen to Twit, absolutely. In fact, this is going to be a little meta, but we're going to actually listen to ourselves talking about it. There's an audio only button, there's video. Controls. Who's that kid? Wait a minute. Said, you know, What's that? I'm confused. Me too. Why is Tech News you Today... You look so young. Did I press a button wrong somewhere? <laughs> Have we not been on the air all this time? Uh, no, we are. You can tell by the... You can That's tell bizarre. Ustream's launching something else. KRLD in Dallas. KRLD. I'm, I am Thank sorry, you. Dallas fans. I was only kidding. Listen. Uh, no, we are. You can tell by the... You can That's tell bizarre. The now it's us listening to Tech News Today. Hi, hi, past Sarah. <laughs> it's going to be okay. So this is a, it's a 99 cent app and I highly recommend it. It's uh, great. I mean, if you like, if you like Twit and you're watching you watch the live you can, stream... You can see us app. all the time. You can watch yeah. us all the time. You can chat while you're listening. And as soon as 4.2 comes out, Craig's all ready for 4.2. It already works on the uh, iPhone. Woot. Uh, you'll be able to listen to the shows uh, and do something else while you're doing that. Of course, for all the links to the apps we just mentioned, you can always visit us at iPad Today. And the URL is twit.tv slash IPT. You can also watch our past episodes from that very same place. And you can subscribe to future episodes. It's a great place. We've got 17 shows, including this one. So we've been on for a lifetime, really, in Internet it feels speak. feels like it. Just this show <laughs> alone. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's a good show. What, what else am I going to say? It's our show, and we love it, and we hope you love it, too. Quick reminder that we do record iPad Today live. Uh, if you're not watching live, today we recorded at a, at a weird time because we and Windows Weekly swapped. But usually it's 1.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time or thereabouts. 4.30 Eastern. We run a little bit late. 20.30 UTC. Folks. Yeah. Live.twit.tv every Thursday. We That's don't do right. it every day, just every Thursday. Every Thursday. It's a weekly show. This portion of iPad Today brought to you by our friends at Carbonite.com. It's backup done right. If you're backing up to an external drive, good. Keep doing that. I'm not saying stop or burning DVDs or even uh, copying your, your, your important files to a USB key. That's great. 
But what if the worst happens? Somebody breaks in and steals everything, including your backup, or maybe there's a fire or flood and uh, and it's all gone. Yikes. you got to have a third kind of backup. That's one that is off-site. And the best way to do it is a Carbonite off to the cloud. Carbonite's automatic, so as soon as you install it, it starts backing up whenever you're online without slowing your system down, without using Internet access that you're using. It waits. It's very smart. waits till you're not using it, and then it trickles up your files. Uh, first time you use Carbonite, it'll take a little while to get all those files, but you can store gigabytes up there. In fact, for $55 a year, that's less than 15 cents a day, you could back up all the files, all the personal files on your internal hard drive, uh, regardless of size. I mean, that could literally be a terabyte or two. It's, a, it's an amazing service, automatic to the cloud. And here's the best part. You can get those files back anytime. Just log into your Carbonite account on any computer, and there's your files. They even have an iPhone app, which works just fine on the iPad. Uh, in fact, this is a great way to get your files to the iPad. You just log on to your Carbonite account on the iPad, and there's your stuff. With Peace the, of mind. Yeah, and the BlackBerry app, too. Carbonite.com, I want you to try it free for two weeks. I do encourage everybody to try all of our sponsors free. We, they all have free deals, and it. it's really good to do that if you can. Because it'll give you a sense of how this works for you, whether it's right for you. I think it is, and you're going to like it. But use the uh, use the offer code iPad today to try it free for two weeks. Carbonite.com, iPad today. If you decide to buy, also use iPad today. You'll get two months free. Carbonite.com. you got to back it up to get it back, so do it right with Carbonite. With Carbonite. Is that the, do, you, do you figure out these rhymey things I for, make them up. for all of our sponsors? Yeah, I try You're very to. good. It's a talent. If this whole podcasting thing doesn't work out, it happened I think once you've before. got a future in jingles. It, it happened once before when uh, Rush Limbaugh took over uh, the world. I was one of the midday hosts that got booted. 550 talk show hosts in the United States got booted because Rush Limbaugh syndicated. Mm. And uh, I was one of them. And they said, but don't worry, you can make commercials. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. You've got a voice for I did that for years and uh, wrote commercials and recorded them. Oh, fun. That's why I sound like this. It's uh, 55 degrees in the city, uh, 1219 on the beautiful iPad Today Show. Sarah Lane, Leo Laporte coming at you with more great iPad hits. And now it's time for the news. Let's go to the newsroom. Sarah Lane reporting. Leo Laporte, thank you. Amazon releases window shop for iPad. You sound very serious. What is that? Uh, well, what it, it's kind of weird because what it is is it's an Amazon iPad app. Which we already have. Yeah, well, we've got uh, a Kindle app. We have a Kindle app, and there's an Amazon app. There's an Amazon app, but You've Amazon... seen the Amazon app. I've used this, this is, and I use this all the time. Instead of going to Amazon website, I use the Amazon app. Amazon has completely redone an app. It's the Amazon store from the ground up called Window Shop, and it... Does this supersede? Yeah, well, no, they give you options. I think what Amazon is doing here is... And it's a little confusing to me, because when I first said Window Shop, okay, so it's the Amazon app... Why don't they just call it Amazon? And it's almost as if the Amazon brand is oh, so well known and so saturated that they'd rather get some other new brand recognition going on the iPad called Window Shop. Now, is now, this available yet? Because I don't see it. Yeah. It oh, is. yeah, there it is. When it says lifestyle. It is. It's well, a lifestyle it's, it's, app. For, it's for everything. Yeah. And, so this and is, it does have the Amazon logo on it. Yeah. No, it, it is. Am, it, it's Amazon. That's what it is. Oh, it, you know what? This replaces the other Amazon app, obviously, because it's the same. It's the thing same with, thing, but it's a little bit But it's more iPad-y. And, yeah. and Jeff Bezos has said, we've we've completely redone the app from the ground up. Oh, that's interesting. This is, this oh, is us, this right you know, really making... And you know, people say, well, wait a second. So, I mean, the obviously, the iPad, it, there was some question at the beginning of, well, you know, the Kindle App Store, and they've just kind of got to bow down to Apple and figure out a way to just keep... keep, uh, keep Working with Apple, or else Apple's just going to take a lot no, of their no. market share. Look, I got an Amazon app here, and I got a Kindle app here. Amazon obviously takes up a lot of my screen real estate. And yeah, now, really. And now I'm putting Windows Shop on here. I guess I'll replace the other Amazon app with Windows Shop. Yeah, I think Windows Shop yes. is, they're probably, I, I don't know if they're going to, I, I guess as long as you're buying stuff from Amazon, I don't care how many Amazon right. apps you're using, as long as you're buying from Amazon. But Windows Shop is weird because... So, first of all, it's it, it does say Amazon Window Shop, and if you look at the logo, it's obviously Amazon yeah. branded. But Window Shop itself, you wouldn't necessarily know it's Amazon. So that's like, okay, they're just, if Window Shop becomes its own brand, that's fine. And also, <laughs> and this is just a little sort of weird thing, is when I don't have any money, that's when I go window shopping. Because that <laughs> means you're not actually buying oh, things. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of like I get it. You're browsing. You're looking through the store. It's a big store. Amazon sells pretty much everything. You can get your toilet paper at Amazon now. But window shop implies that 
you are merely looking. You are not buying. So kind of a curious. Uh, I think they would probably like you to, to look. I think that, yeah, I, I think. So this is interesting because the original. enough, you will buy. Yeah. The original app was really uh, a rehash of the web page. This is very much more designed. It's a grid. There's electronics and then I can drill down. This is, you know what? This is kind of interesting. I'm drilling down into cameras and it and it is window shopping in the sense that it's all pictures. And when you click on the picture, then it gives you sort of a nice 360 degree rotation. Ooh. Now it's looking more like the old Amazon app. And if I log in, which I will do, oh, look, I will be able to uh, do one click buying. So in a way, this is brilliant because don't you think, I mean, one click. And if so you cool. if you if you scroll through the picture, then you get a several different um, several different views. Right. As well. There's only two or three in this one. Actually, you're or right. Five. There's five. <laughs> you saw you. You could see those. Dots. You can see the little ones. Yeah. yeah. So you know what you you know you've got yeah. Look, it comes come. in a brown paper bag. Isn't Why that wonderful? Why would they include that? Now I know. It's their low packaging uh, deal. Yeah, they're they're showing you. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot you could do of an SD card. We're looking at an SD card. Right. What do you mean? It's kind of a weird example. The fact that they of, managed to get five pictures out of it. Let's take a, let's take a Canon, the okay. Yas Rebel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not oh, one picture. That's just one picture. F forget That's it. the one that you want the five pictures of, yeah, actually. Yeah, I'd like to see all sorts Thanks of stuff. Thanks for nothing, window shop. Shh. I'm going to keep window shopping. Oh, wait a minute. Here's oh. the back. Oh, it just needed Here's to load. Here's the front. Here's the back. Here's the front. Back front. <laughs> back front. Hey, back you know what? Side. I'm head up. Forget this. I'm head up. I'm mad. I'm, I'm really peeved because I there's a feature uh, that I really like. I think you didn't even know it when I told you about it, but I think uh, it's one of my favorite features. It is this orientation lock. Oh, Leo, I know all about it. I'm just not peeved. But go ahead. Well, okay. Go ahead so, with your rants. So the whole idea of the uh, of the iPad is, you you know, it, it works, and this is Steve said, it works anyway, and you flip it around. But a lot of times, I don't want it to flip around, so I put this little, this little hold on here, and whatever orientation I've got, it's locked down, and now as I rotate it, it doesn't, and I think that's a really nice feature. Well, in 4.2, and, and Steve Jobs said, nope, this is the way it's going to be. It was this way in the beta, and he confirmed in an email, this is the way it's going to be. This will no longer be orientation lock. This will be a mute button. Mute. And everybody knows that you can mute by just holding down the, like that. It, it, you already have a mute button. Look, see if I it's hold not down. It's instant mute, though. Well, it's almost instant. Look, it. I, I, it's I, on delay. I'm on the rocker switch that turns it up and down. If I press... The downside, I won't say the right side. It's the right side as it's oriented now. But if I press the, the lower volume side, now ready? ready? Pressing it now, 1001, in a second, it mutes it. Not insta-mute. <laughs> so, so, but now how do I now do the orientation lock? Well, I'm going to have to double tap the home you button go in and, and then you slide go to the it left. to the right. It's going to take three clicks. Okay, so I'm pissed. I understand you sound upset. I am. I, if I, I am. understand correctly, I am upset. I'm is, mad as hell. Where, where I, I hear what you're saying, and if I understand correctly, you wish that the, the, uh, the lock would stay on that button and it would not be a mute button. Sir, sir, you sound angry. Let's work through this together. <laughs> Little shrink, Sarah. <laughs> well, here's what it doesn't bother me about it. Number one. This acts more like the iPhone now. When the I that's true. when my iPhone rings, All right, and I don't want to talk right. to somebody. I press that mute press button, and that's it's what the I've same been doing button that's for on years. the iPhone. No, okay, you're right. so yeah. there's that. Second, you can still lock your orientation. Yes, there's a couple more steps to do that. But how much are you really locking orientation? I do it all the time. Like, like more than I do mute. More than a couple times a day. Yeah. So okay, all right, all right. I do it all the I time. I hear you loud and clear. When 4.2 comes along. And there is more multitasking and a lot of radio apps running wish, in the background. I just wish they gave me a choice. I just think that they should be a setting. But that's typical Apple. No, but don't that's, you think that the mute you know button what? is going to come in more handy Maybe. as we have things running? You, you explained the reason for it, though. Yeah. They want it to be the same as it is on the iPhone. Yeah. You're right. Okay. It's, it's, I, I feel better. What, Thank what, you, Sarah. What I think, you talked to me right down. Well, good. It's I, I've been trained. <laughs> I've been trained. Did you see yeah. the president? I used to work for AT&T. Did you? No. And I don't think that their customer service is all that great. If they employed me, maybe it'd be they better. They should hire grief counselors. I've just I've talked to so many customer service folks that I, I think I know some of their tricks where they, yeah. they repeat your problem, they tell you how much they understand, how upset you are, and that they're about to help you. And then, It's called active listening. Yeah. What I hear you saying is yeah. you're going to strangle somebody if you don't get solution. Is that right? 
Sir, it sounds like you're very upset. Yes. And based on what you've told me, I would be upset too. That yes, kind of thing. Absolutely. What what I think is, you know, it's typical Steve Jobs about this is that yeah, a, a um, you know, an, an Apple developer wrote in and said, "So the home orientation button is going to be changed to the mute button." And the answer was, yes. "Yep." Yeah. Oh, he said, "Yep." It was yep. "Yep." And then he said, "Is this going to become an option for folks, you know, if if they want?" Nope. Answer, nope. <laughs> nope. So it's, you know, this is this is kind of Steve Jobs stuff, and it makes people bristly, but it's it's the way it's going to be. Folks, you're in the Apple world. It's the uh, it's Steve's way or the highway. He and has spoken. He ha so he has if you're like me, you, you're you cool. If you're like Leo, you're going to have to warm up to the idea a little bit. Oops. But it is iPhone related. Uh, speaking of uh, cool. I just bought Glenn Beck's Broke by accident. That's... It's too easy. This one-click thing, you just press a button and you have it. It's, it's coming tough. your way. Yeah. You're not window shopping. <laughs> That's not what you're doing at all. <laughs> uh, Leo, did you hear... Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> did you hear the great news that um, if we were to go to some sort of a political rally and President Obama was there and yes. we wanted him to sign our iPad, he yes. would. Look, he did. In fact, he has. And actually, you know, I don't know how he did it, but that that's exactly his normal signature. And he He's did very it good finger. at it. He's fact, very good. In fact, there's there's well, there's sort of bad video of him doing it. You want to see it? Yeah, the video is weird because it's like I mean, you'd think he was Mick Jagger. People are screaming and clawing at him, and he's kind of poised and I don't know. So 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 who is this guy? That's so the guy, Sylvester Can the Fourth. Sylvester Can the Fourth, which is a pretty cool name. So Sylvester Can is there. He has his on his iPad. He's using Adobe Idea, and he's written, "Mr. President, sign my iPad." Yeah, Not please. With a little no, yeah, no please. No please. But, and you can see it. Obama's like, yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Now, according to Sylvester, who uh, who talked to some folks over at TechCrunch, he said, "Listen, I, you know, I was standing there. I I have the iPad held out because I want it to be very clear what I want him to do." And the Secret Service at first is like, "What is this?" What's this guy doing? This is right. really weird. And then they figured out, okay, it's harmless. It's just an iPad. Maybe I've signed a lot of things. In fact, I've uh, I've signed many a computer. So this this for me would be nothing new. I've signed uh, many iPads already. However, in my life. as far as the world is concerned, and world speak up if I'm wrong, this is the first president ever signing an iPad. Oh well, yeah. So I mean, it, Sylvester was yeah. first. I mean, Bill Clinton was the first president to use email. I mean, it's it's like this is. This is new stuff. It is. There was no other president it's who really, could have signed it. It's a really iPad. good idea. It's. I mean, it's. It doesn't get more simple than that. I mean, he's. It's the same thing as holding out a piece. And of it's got to be. Adobe must be happy because it was their app. Yeah, they're thrilled. <laughs> it's like they're a good thrilled. plug for Adobe. And you just Adobe take a idea. screenshot, and now you can send it to everybody. You know, you the signature has uh, has traveled the internet uh, three times over at this point. That's right. So uh, there you have it. You could Sylvester even put it on Instagram if you wanted. You could. You could put it yeah. on Instagram. You can add a filter and yeah. then uh, chat with all your buddies on Instagram. <laughs> Today in iWeird, Leo, uh, we, we tend to show a lot of um, iPads in the wild, uh, many of them on TV shows that don't really explain how the iPads are being used, but they're just cool. So TV show Chuck, I don't watch it. Do you? No. Okay. Well, so, so I'm not going to be much help for you because well, I can't explain this at all. Well, what I can't either. But what's weird about it is that okay, so this is a, an iPad app that they were showing. So instead on of Chuck. showing now, normally in, in a TV show they'd show this on a computer screen. Right, but look at this. It's, it's like, like a see-through iPad. It's a holographic image on an iPad showing some sort of like, this is like Star Wars stuff. I mean, is Chuck like a sci-fi Star Wars show? I didn't think it was. They're just making crap up. They're, sh they're making crap up. And Although, this is all fine and good, and I know that is they... That, is there an app for that? Because I, I would buy that. Me too. Remember we did sort of that GE thing, yeah. the iPad? It's like, this is sort of possible, but nobody's doing this on the iPad, <laughs> Chuck. You are using artistic liberties that I think... Go above and beyond. It's kind of cheesy when people do stuff like that because it's an, obviously an iPad. And but by the know, way, it's obviously the same case that I use. Right. And you can't. <laughs> it's the Marware case, guns. and I can't do that. So. Although I think it's not too much different than all the movies that we sit and watch where they, right. you know, they hack into computer systems and we all laugh and go, that's not That was not the, the one way thing to, to be comm commended about the uh, social network, the, the, the Zuckerberg they got film. Right. They, all the tech was very good in that. Yeah. 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 I noticed that too. I mean, the story didn't get right. They made up the story, but the tech was excellent. They made it up on purpose. I guess for, for a movie like that, that's the stuff that you've got to get right. If you're if you're making up some uh, stories about personal lives that may or might well, not be every true. liar knows that the best way to uh, tell a fib is to add uh, true details around the fib. 
Am I am I telling am I revealing more about myself than I ought to? I mean, what are you, an expert liar? <laughs> here, lie to me. Lie to me. <laughs> so I was sitting here doing iPad today with Sarah Lane and uh, well, you know, we was. were we were running a little long. Yeah. And so I decided to inflate my ball and take off for the moon. Oh. Uh, and Sarah was a little upset. She wasn't feeling that well that day. I, that's, I wasn't. So I had to come back. But uh, but I had a nice trip to the moon. Huh. See, I put I interwove. And then I go, Leo went to the moon earlier. Right. No, he did. He told right. me. No, it, no, because I interwove facts. Right. It, the other stuff checked out. Anyway. Uh, okay. Well, now I know. I got to listen to you more Cat quickly. stands of the week. This is not going to be a feature. Why not? <laughs> Cat stands of the week. It's right there in the rundown, Leo. Cat stands of the week. Another First cat. First cat, Flossie from the UK, sent in by Flossie's human, Lee Peterson. Flossie, you look well fed. Can we not make this a feature? Listen, it's not I my I get it. It's not you my can fault rest your iPad on a cat. That the cat people have spoken. Uh, we are inundated, simply inundated with cat stand photos. So I've decided to feature two. <sighs> Sue me. This is a show for the people, Leo. This Wait a minute, is not there's about another? You. What, you said two? Yes, that's true. Second cat of the week, Ash from Uniontown, PA. Thanks to Ash's human, Kate Cavalcanti. <laughs> Kate and Ash love watching iPad today together. There, there they are. Or separately. <laughs> As you can see, Ash is uh, also uh, a guitarist. He's got yeah. a Fender in the background. What's that case? That's a nice looking case. It is a nice looking case. I don't know what that uh, is. Like and a nice looking cat. So you can poo poo the cat stands all you like, but as long as the people keep sending me cat stand photos, I will keep featuring them. This, as a politician, I promise you, if you elect me on November 2nd. Would you 2nd. sign my iPad, Madam <laughs> President? <laughs> Speaking of viewers, iPad today would be nothing without viewers like you. And, you know, Leo, a few weeks ago, you had said, you know, this isn't a help and how to show per se. But, but I don't mind answering a few questions here yeah. and there. So this question came in from Jeff, and I thought it would be perfect for you. Jeff asks, I was wondering, what's safe to use in a local place like a coffee shop on their network? My Gmail uses SSL. But what about programs I like, like Friendly for Facebook? That's the uh, friend. Uh, that's the Facebook iPad app. That's really the only one. You know I'm, what? This Facebook is very timely one. because there is a Firefox extension that's going uh -huh. around. Listen to our Security Now show this week. It's okay. called Fire Sheep. And Fire Sheep. Fire Sheep. It's not for the iPad. Okay. It's for Windows or Mac. But you put it on your on your Firefox, and it shows everybody whether they're using an iPad or a computer who's on the open Wi-Fi access spot what sites they're logged into. And if you're using Friendly, it'll show it Facebook mm. and gives you the chance to log in as them. Ooh. Because the way Facebook works, and there are a lot of sites, Flickr works this way, a lot of sites work this way. The first time you log in, that's encrypted. But then it sends you a cookie, which it uses to identify you for the rest of the session. Otherwise, you'd have to log in for every page, right? right? So it sends you a cookie that says, oh, you're you, this is your token. And that it sends in the clear. So what FireSheep does is it grabs that token and says, hey, I'm Leo, uh, just logging back in for page two. And suddenly he's into my friend feed or Facebook or Flickr. He's doing my stuff. He can, he can status update. He can look at my pictures. He can look at all that stuff. So it is not safe. Mm, so this is something to keep in mind. It is not safe. If you're using an open access point at this point, uh, Gmail is safe. That's yes. fine, and that's one of the reasons Gmail did this HTTPS now. Anything using HTTPS for all the session, not just the login, but the entire session is safe. I presume Amazon is safe, but Friendly, no. Friendly would friendly, not be no. safe. Friendly, no, and the, uh, the App Store in general? I mean, is oh, that... Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. We'd have to figure out if Apple is staying in SSL or not. It's a very good question. Uh, so, the, Jeff, the fire it's not does... really good. It's not... Don't you know, do it. The answer that you want, I'm sure, but now you know. And be be careful. because uh, this has gotten so much attention this week, this fire sheep, I expect we'll see uh, coffee shops. All they have to do is turn on WPA. They can make it a public password. Starbucks can say, our password's Starbucks in all our shops. Right. And that would, that would prevent this. You know, a lot of coffee shops, uh, at least around my neighborhood, it's locked down and you go up and you order something because they want you and to order something. And then they give you the password. And they give you a little something on a piece of paper and they change every day. It's not that hard. They don't even have to change it every day because no. it, it, the, the key to this to is that they use WPA. So if they use WPA or if you have to enter a password, you're probably okay. But you should, be, you should really remember that when you're using your iPad in open access spots, just like using a computer in open access spot, you are very vulnerable. Jeff, heed our warning. Not safe. Gmail, you're still okay. Stick to the email. <laughs> yeah, Gmail's okay.
So this, we've got a first this week, Leo. Yeah. It's a first viewer video question and viewer video answer without knowing that the two, the other existed. They, 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 the world's collide. We got a question, and before I could even research the answer, I got a viewer video answer to the question. It's crazy. So the first one um, is a question from Suhaib, who is studying at university in Iraq. He didn't tell me which one, but he, here's his question. Hello, Sarah and Leo. Uh, my name is Suhaib. I'm from Iraq. I'm currently studying at the university. Um, now, as you can see, this is my iPad. I'm using my iPad for reading university books. So I want to replace my paper notes with an iPad application so I can get rid of all my copy books. Please help me with that. Uh, I really love. I, I really like your show. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Bye bye. Isn't it great? We've got viewers all over the world. All over the world. Yeah, I mean, that's a first. I love it. In fact, I think it's the first from the Middle East in general, at least video-wise. So thank you. Wow. So fun. Wow. And I then, want to know what university then, you go to. And then we have an answer. We have an answer. DJ281 answered Suhaib's question without me having to do a single thing. <laughs> Uh, let me go full screen on this one too, since uh, he so sent his video via quick. That's another good. Uh, oh yeah, good yeah, way good to send idea. it to us. Yeah, hey Sarah, I love the show, but when I noticed during the education, you didn't. Uh, so you guys didn't cover one of my favorite apps. It's called Course Smart, and what it does is it helps me and many college students uh, be able to have a textbook in their hands. Now, um, here's the website. It's called CourseSmart.com. With this, you're saving money because it's half the time, half the money. All you have to do is you just buy it online, and then it's like a bookshelf, kind of like an iBooks. And there's a way that you can just uh, access it anywhere. Let me just click on one of these test ones to show you. But you just click on it, a book, and you get all these books that it's available. You know, you just pay for it right here. It's half the price. You can do it online. And some of them you can do even on um, a PDF type thing and download it. But it works the best because you can have the iPad. It's like a bookshelf and you just, can just put it on there. But it's a really good app and I wanted to show it to you all. Definitely check it out. Thanks, it's a little DJ. disappointing because uh, iBooks, the iBook store have not yet made those textbook deals. Even Amazon doesn't have a lot of textbooks online, So, although more. So it would be really nice if there were a way to... Uh, to get all of the uh, yeah, I mean textbooks. it's been a while since I was in college, but books are expensive. Books cost too much. So I mean, they I, really I haven't obviously looked at at all of the deals that CourseSmart has, but DJ says half off for some of the stuff. I mean, hundred dollars a book if it's fifty bucks, it's going to save you a lot of money. Not to mention, uh, you don't have to uh, carry around a hundred pounds in your backpack. Exactly. With you. So Suhai was kind of looking for, I, if I understood his his question correctly. He wanted to get rid of his books. He wanted to get rid of his folders. And, and uh, you know, as far as note-taking goes, that's kind of a different category. But as far as textbooks and, and, and books that you have to you have to buy for courses, I mean, it's it's required, then everything can be on your iPad and you don't have to lug around all that stuff. It's Course Smart, C-O-U-R-S-E-S-M-A-R-T dot com. Exactly. So thanks to Suhaib and DJ for sending in questions and answers, viewer to viewer. Yay. V to V. V to V. And right then you here can on even iPad you can today. even go on the site to, uh, on the iPad and I guess you could probably download it. if they offer an immediate download PDF you could download it and uh, read it in good reader or i annotate. That would probably be the thing to buy if you're going to if you're going to get a PDF book from Course Smart. Uh, we've talked about this application before it's called it's a little expensive I think it's 20 bucks i annotate PDF but it allows you to open up those PDF textbooks and annotate them. And that's one thing that's missing I think from an electronic version of of a uh, of a textbook is the ability to do things like say highlight you know a paragraph that you really want to totally. want to know so i annotate would be a really good choice uh, for reading those textbooks in there beautiful well thank there you, you go. viewers of course we want to hear from you you can write us at ipad today at twit.tv we can't answer everybody we can't feature everybody but i promise that somebody is reading every email promise it's <laughs> not, true not us well, it's me, actually. Oh, actually, you. Good. It actually is me. Good. It's just not you. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I send the I send the stuff that she'll CC that, me. The, that yeah. that yes. Yeah. If Leo doesn't read it, I make sure that he reads the good stuff. Uh, you can of course leave us a voicemail. The number is seven five seven five zero four I P A D. That's how you spell iPad. Really? Yeah. Or seven five seven five zero four four seven two three. If you're just into numeric stuff.
Uh, and you can send us a video for extra points. Uh, DJ sent us uh, one via Quick. I've never suggested that before. Quick or YouTube or Mobile Me or Quick. The sound wasn't me. great on Quick. I have to say it was a little fuzzy. The whole thing was a little. Yeah. Was a little. Because it's really designed for streaming, so it compresses it heavily. Uh, he's probably using an iPhone uh, to do it. Yeah. We'll take it iPad today to brought to you today by Gazelle. I think this is the first time we've had Gazelle on iPad today. But I I've told so you about too. Gazelle before. If you have g gadgets lying around the house, and I think anybody who watches this show probably does, that you don't need any longer, Gazelle is a great solution. Don't sell it. Gazelle at G-A-Z-E-L-L-E dot com. If you go there right now, you'll see it's very cool. You can enter in the name of the object that you wish to relieve yourself of. Um, let's say you had an iPad. I mean, I don't think anybody ever want to sell their iPad, but let's, let's say you did. And you'll see it immediately gives you a choice of the different iPads that are available. Let's say I have a 64 gig with 3G. It asks you some questions. Is it power on? Is it free of water damage? Rate the condition. Do you have all of the uh, accessories that came with it, the manuals, the cables? And then it tells you how much they're going to pay for you. Hey, pretty nice. good, 426 bucks. So let's say you, you wanted to upgrade when the uh, new iPads come out or the new iPhones come out. Now, here's what happens. This is, the, this is what they say they're going to pay you. Then they send you a postpaid box. You load it up with all your gadgets, anything you've got in the house. They get them back. They remove all your personal data from it, which I really like. Uh, they assess it, make sure it's in the condition you said. And if it is, they will send you a check for that amount. Pretty cool, huh? Totally. If it's if it's nothing they can sell, and you know what? A lot of really old gadgets aren't any good anymore. They do the recycling for you. They delete your data, and then they recycle, making sure none of it, none of it ends up in the landfill. They take care of all the heavy metals, the weird chemicals, the polyvinyl chloride, so that it is properly disposed of. They have green recycling. It all, all in the U.S., all EPA certified. So it's a great way to recycle. And I'm going to tell you one more great thing about Gazelle. If you're trying to raise money, instead of a cake sale, have a gadget sale, a gadget drive for your school or your team. You could set up a page right on Gazelle with your team's name, personalized gadget drive web page. You tell your, uh, your families, your, your supporters where to go on the web. They send the gadgets in. You get the check. It's easier than a bake sale, less expensive than a fundraising event. And a great way to make money for your nonprofit. Gazelle, it's just a great, I just love Gazelle, a great service. Everyone needs to know about it. G A Z E L L E. Don't sell it. Gazelle, it. They've got gadgets. They buy gadgets in 20 different product categories, over 200,000 unique items. They will send you cash or recycle. And you can even get, uh, um, I think, Amazon cards or iTunes cards. You don't have to just take cash, and they'll give you more value if you do that. It, it really is a great solution. Our show code for Gazelle is iPad. So here's the deal. Go, What's the deal? Go about your business on Gazelle. You know, add up all the things, get all the amount of money, and then as you're checking out, just type in that bonus iPad, and you'll get 5% more for your used gadgets. How do you like that? I like just, it. Just iPad. Uh, it is a great way to upgrade to the next great thing to get rid of your old gadgets. All of us have this stuff lying around. iPad is the bonus code. Go to G-A-Z-E-L-L-E dot com. Don't just sell it. Gazelle it. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Gazelle, for your support. Oh, women, i got to put my app cap on. Yeah, Leo, come mm -hmm. on. Get with it. It's app cap time. Istanbul was Constantinople. Yes, Istanbul was Constantinople. We've decided that the fez is the official hat of all of Twit. You know why? Because they're fezes. Why not? Why not? Well, also because the fez is one of the few hats with no brim or bill. It's perfect. So it's good for uh, lighting. You see, you can see my eyes. It's also good to, uh, to remind myself when I need to get my bangs trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing those bangs right into your eyes. They're in my eyes. You look like a sheepdog. I'm in the dark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I love the fez. This particular fez is for someone with a much smaller brain than me. My brain is large, and so is my head. So this is a tight fit. You want a, you want a bigger? bigger? No, it's fine. I, you know, I gave you the littlest one I had. Well, I just thought you're so have, tiny. You're I such a treacherous very, little ball of steel. I have a very big bird brain, Leo. Yeah. A big many, bird brain. We have, many, we have many fezzes. All right, fine. Let's fez it up in here. Our fezzes are from fezzorama.com, and you can order twit fezzes directly from them, by the Isn't way. Isn't that great? Yeah, so for the so, few of you... Does that have, fit better? 
Yes, it does. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Ooh, it fits like a glove. Isn't it nice? And they're quilted inside. This is you like, know, you great. know, when you've got a pair of tight jeans and you go, no, it's fine. But then you go a size up and you're like, yeah, this is the size I should really yeah. be wearing. So you could eat lunch now. You wouldn't have to unbuckle your fez. I wouldn't have to, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't have to give my head a break. <laughs> Do you want to start or shall I? I'll start. Uh, this app, this next app, is maybe one of the weirdest apps um, that I've come across. <laughs> I love it. Not weird because it doesn't make sense. It makes a lot of sense. Just weird for me because I happen to have very good eyesight. We've talked a little bit about... Do you? Yes. You don't wear contacts or glasses? I don't wear a thing. Really? The only eye problems I have, in fact, because I'm, I'm pretty good far, I think if I had to be anything, I'd be farsighted, is that when I'm at a computer all day looking at stuff up close and I go to drive home at night, it's like, eh, now I'm having a problem because, you know, it's, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm screwing with my good eyesight uh, just because of my trade. All that anyway, time spending on the, on the screens on probably the screen isn't good because for it. I'm looking yeah. at something where normally yeah. I should just I wonder if a around. Kindle is better for your eyes than an iPad when you're reading. All Kindle time. users say yes. I, don't I think it's easier on the eyes. I don't know if it's better. We should ask an eye doctor. Yeah. Eye doctors, if you're listening to the show, what do you think? Is a reflective display like the Kindle, a non-backlit display like the Kindle, better than a, uh, a, a backlit display like the iPad for your eyes? I mean, in long term. I, you know, it's personal decision whether it's easier to read or not. I don't yeah, mind reading on my because iPad. Because the long-term effects are really the important ones. Because if you're doing right. damage over 30 years, you want to know ahead of time. Also for eye doctors, you might like to know about a little <laughs> app that the App Store, I troll the App Store for fun. This is my what I do. My eye doctor uses this. Wait a minute. Is this an eye chart? Yes. He uses this. He does? Yes. Eye chart pro, He's everybody. Such a geek. In fact, let's go this way so it looks like a oh, this so is it looks so like funny. an actual eye chart. Yeah. So Wait a minute, I can read it. Let me let me just uh, put my hand now over you need, one you eye. Need, you need to be ten feet away or less. Okay. Which I, I don't e think you're ten feet away. F P T O Z L P E D P E C F D E D V. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the monitor. <laughs> That's not good. That's I, not good. It's blowing it up. <laughs> you can't you have to look at the actual I can even read the bottom up. one. And now let me change it because oh. here, you can oh, randomize see, it. So, I have memorized it. So here's what you do. Wow, now read it. That's cool. Flood, zla, fipe, lutad, edfudzip, fellow pudzip, def patek, lepodeftigs. Okay, I think you've got pretty good eyesight because you got you got all got those all? right. That's good. Here's what you do. That's so really, I turn. That's all. That, now is it free? It better be free. It is free. Yeah, because there's really not much going on there. Dot company. That's d o k company. Dot com. There's not a lot going on here. By the way, they also will give you an e-chart. That's it's, it's like another test to to let people know, you know, if they've. This is pretty cool. E M E, yeah. So so what iChart uh, Pro does is it's an eye chart. We're all used to it's these. An when you go to the eye doctor, or the DMV, or this or that, what this is good uh, for. And iChart Pro is quick to say, listen, we're not trying to, you know, don't self-diagnose yourself with good or bad eyesight. You need to go to the eye doctor, and this should not be in place of that but what happens is that at eye doctors uh some eye what doctors, happens at eye doctors? They, well they've got charts up and they've had up for years and yes. people memorize they they they, they, they want to so be you right need, you need new ones our instincts we want to impress yes. the eye doctor and we want to be right and yes. and even if you're not doing it on purpose you it's tend so to memorize true. the lines so this is a good way for the eye doctor let's just say to change that it on got, a regular basis they've got a sense that maybe i can't really read that eye chart as well as i he just I'm, taps it i'm i yeah i'm kind of lying about it and they go all right well let's just Here's our secondary. Here's here's our secondary eye chart. Just just to, to be safe, I'll go ahead and fire up the iPad, and then they can tell if maybe my eyes that is not as good as I would like them to believe. So eye chart pro, it's free. It's um it's good for obviously for professionals and even for people who aren't. Listen, don't self diagnose yourself. But if you've kind of got you know like me, I was complaining about you know when a computer's up too close to my eyes, I get a little bit weird. Put the iPad app away, you know, 10 feet or so. See how many lines I can read. If I'm starting to feel like things are going a little haywire, maybe it's time to make an appointment. There you have it. And you'll app be glad cap. you have good eyesight when you look at my app cap. This is something probably a lot of you already know about, but if you don't, get ready. Half Brick brings you Fruit Ninja H. D. Oh, God. This is perhaps the most fun game yet. You say that about everything. <laughs> now, I have to say, uh, Fruit Ninja is available on the iPhone, and I first learned about it on the iPhone, played a lot on the iPhone. 99 cents on the iPhone, it is $5 on the uh, iPad, but it is well worth it. Let me just, let me give you a little demonstration. Okay. 
I'm not really good. I'm going to play this single single player. Because right now it looks like like a fruit nightmare to me. Oh, you know, I got to turn up the sound too, so you can you can hear it. It's it's you. We'll play. There's our little mode. our ninja looks sort of old. So you're learning to swipe now. Watch block. now. Fruit's going to come up and you slice it. Oh, this is now. This is fun. Now what's fun? Can you hear this? I can't hear it. I don't know if it's if. Oh, I turned off the sound. Wait. You, have you paused the sound? I got it turned off. Oh my god. Okay, we'll start over again. We'll start over again. <laughs> I didn't do very well because I was busy turning up the sound. You're, Let's retry your ninja that. Now died watch. Of old age. Because the best over. part about this is the very satisfying squish that fruit makes. Oh, this is good. And you it's can like use Kill multiple Bill. fingers. It's just like Kill Bill. Watch. Boom. I got a kiwi and a lemon on that one. Whoa. Now here's two oh, So they fruits. start coming faster. Or you can use two fingers like that. They come faster and you can't do the bomb. What's watch that? out for the bomb. If you do that, you're dead. Oh, yeah. so you have to be paying attention. You can't just blindly slice. You have to actually be a ninja. Yeah. Like Brian Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Wilson's a ninja? Yes. Oh, yeah, the, the baseball player, not the beach boy. No, that beach boy is just a singer. Isn't this satisfying? Yes. Yes, I like. You can use as many. Oh, watch that bomb. You missed that you mango, You as many too. as five fingers on Fruit Ninja. Oh, that's so fun. If you're really good. And they get give you extra points for the multiple. Oh, I got two down. Combo, see? That was a ninja move right there. Yeah. So this... This game gets much, much, oh, I lost. It gets harder and harder and harder. It is a lot of fun. It supports Apple's new Game Center. Not on the iPad yet, but it does on the on the. I iPhone. like the Sensei's fruit fact that limes were fed to British sailors to, to prevent, prevent scurvy. scurvy. Yeah, isn't that so fun? So you learn a little something while you're a ninja with the fruit. Yeah. You, this is you've a way got cooler boards. game than I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, no. I When they first told me about Fruit Ninja, I, I mocked them. But, in fact, Fruit Ninja is a fan Fantastic game. Highly recommended. Four ninety nine. iPad. It makes me... I'm, I have an urge for some fruit salad right now. I don't know why. I feel... I, the only thing I wish it had was I wish I could smell the limes mm -hmm. after I sliced mm -hmm. them. You play this enough, you can actually start smelling the limes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You this this cures scurvy, this game. This is the first. <laughs> fruit Ninja! Fruit Ninja. Can I th throw in a bonus? Of course. Uh, the folks who gave us the Alu stand, we showed you that aluminum stand for the... Uh, for the um, iPad that uh, is Which so cool. Which was nice. They, it was real sturdy. It's, it's called Just Mobile. They make an Alu pen as well. And let me just show you. This is kind of cool. Now, we mentioned before that you can use a sausage or a cheese stick or a rolled up piece of tin foil to uh, do your iPad. But really, in the long run, uh, they don't make good long-term solutions because, to be honest with you, you're going to end up eating that sausage or that cheese stick and you're going to lose your aluminum foil. But you may never lose... Your Alu pen. Now, unlike some of the other pen solutions that have little fuzzy capacitance balls at the end, this is just a little rubber tip ball with an aluminum pen, but it actually works. It works really, really well. So it's a. In fact, let me play. Uh, let me play Fruit Ninja with this. I bet this would be really great for Ooh, Fruit Ninja. Ooh, yeah, because yeah. it's your ninja sword. It's a little thick and big. You can <laughs> see, I'm but, sorry. but it, you like it that way, though, don't you? Don't. Well, it's, so, oh, that's game like over. Let's start this. over again here. All right, Fruit Ninja. So you can see there's a. Um, this is actually going to be great. This is like a samurai sword for Fruit Ninja. So Al Pen, I just thought I'd mention this. It's so this. much better looking... than trying to make a cheese stick a ninja sword. That's well, the next silly. time you want the president to sign your uh, iPad, give him a pen. Right. And I think it'll work a lot better. You know, you can, uh, here, I'll just uh, erase here and uh, start over. Let's do a new one. Don't save. Don't save. It was terrible. Oh, I got to, I got to choose a pen here. Choose a pen. This is uh this is a great application called Sketchbook. We should do art apps maybe next week. We get some we get a good amount of Oh, you know, this is there are a lot of good choices for art apps. I wouldn't mind doing art well, apps. Let's do art apps next yeah, week. Yeah. You guys uh everyone who's watching uh or uh or watching later, um send us your uh, send us your tips. tips. Some of us you you you've already I've I've saved a lot of your art tips so far. We just haven't gotten to that yet. So, let's do that next week. Alu pen, how much is it again? Oh, no, I have no idea. Oh. Well, it's worth <laughs> probably, it. Probably too much. <laughs> you know, I'll look it up for you and I'll what, let you know. L-U pen. A-L-U-P-E-N from Just Mobile. $20. $20. Nineteen ninety-five. How did you beat me? Uh, I thought I was really on a roll here. I have a computer. You have an iPad. I'm using my computer. By the way, <laughs> this is actually some pretty stiff competition for the... Uh, the iPad, the new oh my gosh. MacBook there, Air. It's, it's like an iPad with a keyboard. Yeah. I think that there are people who...
perhaps i mean i love my ipad and for some things you know you don't want a keyboard you want simple it's mm -hmm. a little it's still a little bit lighter and thinner and much better battery life about twice the battery life of the uh, macbook games, air like fruit ninja you want the ipad but if you want to create content you want to write this is a really nice and it's not much bigger than an ipad as you can see it's just a little and bit it's bigger about the same weight yeah twice as expensive though yeah so there depends you on what you want to do i for me the 11 inch seems a little too toy like i like the 13 oh, i like the 11 but the battery life on the 13 is better. Seven hours compared yeah, to the it's good stuff. Hours. Hey, we're uh, out of time. Thank you for joining us. We've been out of time early for the last hour, but uh, thank you for joining us. Longest show ever. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Marilyn. And uh, that's it for... I thought today. Oh! oh.